Mouse and Bear lived in a little dark house in the big black woods and today Mouse wanted to find the moon. I'm off to the moon, Bear said Mouse on my own. I am making a moon map to show me the way. Mouse said Bear. Why don't you sit down? I will help you pack up. Then we'll set off together. No, Bear, said Mouse firmly. I don't need your help. I'm the moon map inventor. I'll go on my own. Mouse worked on his moon map. He, he planned and he thought. He watched and he wrote. Read it now. He read and he tweaked and he measured and he drew. It was a magnificent, mighty, most marvellous moon map. Right then, said Bear, we need torches and jumpers and gloves to keep warm when hot bars got tea. All I need is my moon map, said Mouse. Are you sure, murmured Bear? Oh yes, Bear, said Mouse, I know my way now. I'll be back before tea. So Mouse set off on his own, on his way to the moon. He looked at his moon map. He tunneled <laughs> and he climbed and he clambered up into the woods. Now things moved in the woods, things fluttered and scraped and rustled and sighed there. Moon map, show me the way, whispered Mouse, but all he saw was the dark. And then came a crunch, a snap and a whisper. Eyes flashed in the shadows and bent towards the mouse. I can go on my own, breathed the mouse, on my own, on my own. When out came Bear. Thanks. Hello, mouse. Need a hand? Mouse stumbled. No, Bear, I don't need your help. But it's so very dark, I can't see my moon map. I know Mouse said Bear, but I've got you and you've got me, so we'll be all right. So Mouse felt his way, and Bear followed Mouse, and they crept through the blackness and out of the woods. And there was the fat moon, trailing milk in the water. A long glitter of water swept out before them. Go. Now stopped there, there, look up the moon map. We've got to go over, but it's too far to swim. I know, Mouse said there, but I've got you and you've got me, so we'll be all right. Bear looked at the moon map. He looked very closely, then he folded it up. Bear bent it in triangles and pressed down the edges. He tweaked and he tucked and he lifted and opened. He stroked honey smooth and he flattened until Mouse's moon mouth was a little flat square. Now we're really lost. Pull them out, said Bear. Pull!
so mouse put and the red put and the square of map opened crumbled and grew and there was a boat just right for two Quick, jump in, said the bear. For all of a sudden, a storm and wind were above and around them, shaking and spinning and swirling the boat. Mouth shivered, bear, we can't do it. The waves are too high and the boat is too small. I know, Mouse said Bear, but I've got you and you've got me, so we'll be all right. All through the night they held tight to each other through the wild and the wet and the swirl of the storm. And at last the wind dropped. It left them. But so did. The moon bear, look, it's going, said Mouse. The light's disappearing. My moon map was all wrong. No, look, Mouse, said Bear. Your marvellous moon map took us here to the sun. The sun stroked the air with fingers of warmth and the sky glowed in pink, purple, orange and gold. It tickled their ears and brushed warmth on their necks. It stretched out their arms and put breath in their tummies. We missed the moon, but we found something better. Bear, shall we go home now? said Mouse. Oh yes, Mouse, said Bear. Do you come all the way back? We don't have your moon map. I don't know, Bear said Mouse, but I've got you and you've got me, so we'll be alright. 